Hello, folks. This is Bank Robber Joe here. Bank Robber Joe, Barry Lee Bartlett as the Outstanding Balloon Man. I'm going to teach you today, people, if you want to rob something, if you rob a bank, how you get not caught. Everybody's always robbing banks, thinking there's some kind of Jesse James, James Bond, or Clint Eastwood, or, or, or Bonnie and Clyde. Those days are over. Now, the reason why those guys never got caught, really, because they don't have the equipment, what they have today is the films, they have cameras. Now, so what, you got your pictures on the camera, cheese, cheese, so what? Here's what you got in mind if you're going to rob a bank. Now, I never robbed a bank, but I can teach you how to do this so you won't get caught. So, whoever watches this video, take this serious, take this very serious. So what, there's cameras up here. Look, they got cameras in front of me. Look, right here, even doing this video. So what? Jeez. The picture don't mean nothing. If you, no, quote, if you're robbing something, and you know what you're robbing, and you get enough of it, that picture don't mean skittily squat. Because you could be somewhere in Hawaii right now. A lot of people tell people, I live over here in California. I live over in New York. That's why you get busted. I live in Florida. I live in Texas. You don't tell somebody, hey, I'm moving to Hawaii, Mexico, wherever you think you're going. Now, here's how you rob a bank. You don't get caught. Forget those Jesse James stuff. You ain't got dynamite. You ain't got helium bombs. All right. So those days are gone. I'm talking about the bombs and dynamite and, and shotguns. First of all, you don't go in the bank with a bag in your hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating combos. Now I'll take this serious regardless of the joke. Um, um, I got a couple, I got a couple. First of all, first of all, you don't go in the bank in the back of the bank and wait for a teller to come out. So that's not going to happen. There's where you're going to get caught. They got cameras right there waiting to see the people come and going. Now they have cameras when you go in the bank. All over the place. Your problem is don't worry about the cameras. All right? Worry about the man carrying the gun in there. Worry about the guards. Worry about the people looking at you when you go in. All right? Because they're the one that's seeing you, really, and they're alive to tell you. And you don't go in there like Jesse James and blow him away and kill him. Give me all your money or I'll blow you away. That's, that's not even a bank robbery. That's a show and a half. If I want to do a clown show, I just keep on doing my show. And collect no money, which I don't. Now, you walk in there. If you find the right bank that you think is good. Just because it says American Bank, that doesn't mean that's the best bank. You got to look around when you walk in that door. Look around your surroundings. Who is and what ain't. But don't look at the camera. Now, of course, they're going to get a good shot at you walking in the door anyway. Now, first thing you do, you go up to the counter like anybody else. Hi, how you doing? Well, you like, can I make a bank account? That's all you have to do. Can I like a bank account? And they'll tell you what you got to do, what you got to do. They'll send you over here. Da -da. But don't look scared. Don't look suspicious. All right? Now, you might say, well, if I give them my bank account, and, and and I'm gonna make a bank account, and then I give my name, and then if I rob the bank, they'll know who I am. Well, there's your problem. There's your problem. You're not going in there to make an account. That's how stupid you people are. You you say, how do I go about making a, an account here? And now they'll tell you. But that don't mean you go make an account. Come on, man. How stupid are you? That's just passing the time away while you looking over the sh over her shoulder and who's around and how the counter is and how the money is see but people don't do that today in this world they just give me all your money give me all your money right now 
I'll blow you away. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Yeah, you're going to get caught making a scene. Other people see you. They go out and call 911. We're getting robbed by the bank. There's a bank robber guy in another bank. See, you don't want to make a big scene. Do I have to teach you everything, folks, how to rob a bank? You're only uh, stalling when you're saying how to make a bank account. But you don't want a bank account. You want their money from their bank. That's the whole point of it. Okay, now, after you study and stay in line more and watch all the surrounding, how the bank is, don't worry so much about that guard over there. He's just wondering if anything's going to happen when people walk in their bank. So don't worry about him. You got him all... Your eyes are constantly on the guard at all times. Now, it's not only the guard. There could be some undercover people in there, too. You got to be that good like me to know who's an undercover cop and who's undercover security and who's, a, who's got a gun and who don't. And from my experience as a bank robber, I know. So, listen, people. Now, you want to rob a bank? So, after you look around. Now, you don't come back the next day. Of course, it's going to give them a suspicious, hey... There's that guy again. There's that guy again. Yesterday, yesterday, see how to train it to the other woman? Yesterday, he came in here and wanted to make a bank account. Now he's in here today. And people watch that, how many times you come in. It's not so much as they see you on the camera. The camera's always not going to lie. It's going to see you come in here tomorrow, the next day, whatever. You don't come in the bank the next day. It's like planning it out. Like, now, if you want to go get the br blueprints of the bank, but that's still talking Jesse James stuff. We, we don't need blueprint. Once you go in there for the first time, listen, black niggers, you ain't doing it right. Listen to the bank robber here that's a professional. You go in there. After you study everything, after you see how everything is, the bank ain't going to move on wheels. It's still there, right? Right. You might have different tellers. Might have them security guard, but you don't go in there the next day. After you study it, you go home. Okay, this tell us here. This tell us here. The bank is there. It ain't going nowhere. Security guard's over here. Mm -hmm. He's watching everything. Cameras are watching it. So you got this all packed down. Now, you go in there. After so long, um, that's all depends if you know how you're ready to go and do this. And when you're ready, you'll know when you're ready if you really want that bank money. <laughs> All right. As good as I am, you, you would know. So here you go. So then when you go in, when you feel like this is a time and right, first of all, you don't want to go in there shaking your hands and, oh, man, I don't know if I want to do this or not. Eh? Just go in there like the first day you came in. Calm, peace, relax. When you go in there all shaky, they're going to know something wrong. Are you okay, sir? Are you okay, ma'am? Whoever's doing this is a girl guy. They shouldn't have to say that. If they start saying that, you better walk out that bank because they're going to keep your eyes on you. Are you okay, sir? That there is a sign that they're watching you. See, if they're saying, are you okay, you better get out that bank because they're watching you. Now, I mean not watching you, wondering if you're okay. And that okay is already someone back in the back calling 911. And then watch out for the people when they walk in the back room. They're not just walking in the back room. They're probably telling someone who's ever back there, hey, call 911. There's a man out here, and he's acting suspicious, and I think he might try something. He looks like a killer. He looks like a bank robber. He looks like he's going to do us in. You don't want to give them them kind of looks. But but you'll time it when the person goes back. If they're back there too long, you know, then you know you better walk out that bank. Calm and collect. Not mad. Calm and collect. Mad, like say, you know, give them an excuse. Ah, I don't want to. I'll be back later. Because I got things to do. Just make something up. Just walk out. But here's how you rob it now. When you see the cash register... When she opens that bank door, when she opens the bank door, I mean, if you're that strong, and if you're that fast, just jump over the counter, sucker punch her. Lord forgive them, whoever does it. Sucker punch that girl before she shuts that drawer. 
See, you're getting the money out of the drawer. That's where all the money is. Not no vote like Jesse James again. We're not blowing up banks back there. You're getting enough that you get the heck out. But now banks are being tricky. They're only putting so much money in in the cash register like they do. They give you so much and so they don't have ten million in the cash register. They only give you whatever. But you gotta study the bank long enough to know how they work. And that's how you rob a bank. And if you do that, you just run out. But when you get out the door, don't run. Because you got the whole city block looking, hey, that guy just robbed the bank. Someone runs out of the bank, they're going to think that. Hey, why not? hey, get out of my way. Hey, you spilled my coffee. After you run out of the bank, just walk out calm and cool. Now, if you're a New Yorker, you can do that. But, but uh, you blend in with the crowd. But if there's only a few people, you better make some way out of there. Because you don't want to hit just the easy town. Because what happened? You hit a if that's many people, you're going to get caught. You need to hit the banks that have a lot of people, not just one or two. And I have went to towns that that had you know a uh, few people in the town and only one city bank. And 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 I almost got caught. Oh, I almost gave myself away. Well. You'll know what to do if you want to be a bank robber, folks. Follow those steps. Don't worry about the camera.